This plant we're looking at here is uh, Chrysanthemum ester reed. Uh, this one here is not ester reed, but really what we're looking at is dwarf forms of uh, Chrysanthemum maximum. And um, ester reed is my favorite because it doesn't have a yellow center on it, and so I use it quite a bit. Um, what I like about the plant is it's a low growing perennial and blooms a lot. Great little accent in about a 3x3 three three space or smaller. And what we want to look at today is how to deadhead this. Uh, fortunately, this is one of the easiest plants you're ever going to deadhead. You can see here I've got a pair of head shears and I'm basically just taking this plant down right uh, almost at ground level um, probably a couple of inches b above ground level so what I do is I go in real quickly uh, take them down almost like a mower um, and the reason being is the flower stalks all turn brown when they're done so what I'm doing is there's almost no viable foliage that wouldn't leave behind brown flower stalks what happens is once you've taken this down uh, the growth for the plant will start to sprout new fresh leaves and um, I've tried it various ways I used to selectively do this by hand and it's just it's too cumbersome and slow and at the end of the day it didn't give me the result I wanted because I had to go in there and selectively pick out um, dozens and dozens of little stems that turn brown which you'll see in a moment so that's pretty much it you take this plant down once it's done blooming it's obvious the blossoms turn brown you deadhead it and um, depending on where you're at I found that coastally like in Monterey Santa Barbara because of the cooler weather that's when this likes to bloom these tend to bloom in the spring in this hot inland valley in northern California where I live and then I get another blossom at the end of summer when it starts to cool down again but I saw these blooming in the middle of summer uh, near the coast and so I think they're more of a cool weather blooming perennial and uh, it is evergreen by the way we get down in the mid 20s and the foliage for this plant stays green all year for us um, I'm not sh how I'm not sure how cold hardy it, it will go down to but it does handle the 20s just fine and so what I've done is cleared out the biggest mass of the uh, foliage and now I go in with my hand pruners and I selectively cut around the stuff where I don't want to be um, chopping up other plants here and I'm going to get down and start uh, taking the stubs down uh, even deeper and just make sure that I get all those little stalks because they do, do turn brown you can see an old one right here that I'm going to come in here and cut and uh, one that I missed last time you see these little brown stubs that's last last year's bloom that didn't get taken all the way down so we get in and clean it up and that's about it and that's how we deadhead chrysanthemum maximum dwarf forms uh, this particular one is ester reed